Okay, so let's jump into this video and talk about working with our miscellaneous tables and features we have left in our ROM file using our UpRef flash tuning software. So these are gonna be things such as our rev limits, our speed limits, idle control, electronic throttle control, torque management, our cooling fans, and several other features and tables. I'm gonna be showing you the older ROM type from a 350Z and then taking a look at our newer ROM type from a G37. So we know what to expect and we know what tables we're gonna have in both these different kinds of ROMs. So without further wait, let's jump into this video so we can check this out. Okay, so let's get started here. We're gonna be taking a look at the remainder of the tables we're gonna find in our ROM files. So jump in here to edit tune file, and move into my G37 example. We'll open up our file here, the 3WN0A, click open. And then we're also gonna be taking a look at our 350Z file so we can see what the generations of these ECUs are gonna be differing. We look at our ROM files, we know what to expect here. So we'll grab a CD405, that's gonna be our 350Z file. So let's go ahead and give this a second to open up here. All right, so let's go ahead, I'm gonna just open up these windows a little bit more so we can see them. And let's start to take a look at everything else that we're gonna find in our different tables here. So we've covered now our fuel ignition, cam phasing, and we've also taken a look at our VVEL settings in the previous video. We learned not to touch this, it's usually gonna cause more problems than it's worth. So I'm gonna go in here now and talk about our rev and speed limits. Let's jump into our folder here, and let's jump in here to our G37 example. Now you'll find they're gonna be differing. So we're gonna be talking about the differences here, starting off again with rev and speed limits. So map slot one through map slot five, we're gonna find that we can toggle through these different map slots. We'll find that on both of these files here. If we click map slot one, we're gonna be finding on our 350Z example here, we have a speed limiter and then we have an actual rev limiter. So we can go here and completely disable our speed limiter. If we go to edit here, we can set this to something high like 200 miles an hour. That'll get the speed limiter out of the way. And then the rev limiter here, we can definitely go and change this and increase it. So if we wanted to change our rev limiter to say 6,900, I would simply type in 6,900. Actually, we have to go to edit first. I am sorry, go to 6,900. Click OK, now it's gonna be updating it. Now here we find we have a, a fuel restore. And normally, if we wanna have a pretty crisp rev limiter, we're gonna go and make this about 50 RPMs below the actual cut. I'll go here to edit. Since I made this 6,900, I'll go here 